Hi guys, it's Ben here and welcome to my preview of Liverpool vs Manchester City in the Champions League quarter-finals. It was February the 14th in Porto when we won 5-0 and we knew we'd be at this stage. Didn't know who we'd be playing until a few weeks later, but here we are against Man City, the best team in England, maybe the best team in Europe, uh, among the favourites for the Champions League. They have been all season long. Uh, we've played them twice this season already, obviously. They've both been... Uh, Thrilling games in, in different ways. Obviously, that the five 0 at the Etihad was uh, it was thrilling up to a point, and it's still a plenty of talking points. Um, obviously, they ran away with it, and then the four three at Anfield, which is probably the best game I've seen all season in any competition. Um, and it just could not be set up more perfectly. It reminds me, of course, of the the games against Chelsea in two thousand and five until two thousand and nine. There was the Arsenal game in there as well with the Man United Europa League tie a couple of seasons ago, but this. Obviously, Eclipse is the Europa League. I think this is probably our biggest uh, game in Europe uh, against another English side in a decade. And it's just something that we, we used to live for and something that I'm so glad is back. And it's not really even properly settled in that this is happening yet. Um, I think by the time we get to Anfield tomorrow and by the time uh, we're there two hours before kick-off and we're cheering the coach in and everything and getting the atmosphere buzzing uh, straight away, uh, I think getting in the ground as early as possible is going to be the order of the day here. It's just going to be absolutely mega. Um, and yeah, it's, it, I just can't believe it's finally here. It's, I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm anxious. I've got no idea how I'm going to be feeling come 7.45. It's, it's just absolutely humongous. Two teams that uh, have been the best teams to watch in the Premier League this season by far for me, obviously. Um, being, at, being at most of Liverpool games and um, <clears throat> watching every single one is... It's been a pleasure this season, whereas in previous years it hasn't been. But this season it's been very, very exciting and a slight improvement on last season in terms of results, but a massive, massive improvement in terms of actually being fun to go to the games and and, and to watch the games. Um, and City, likewise, I'm sure you know they they they've, they've run away with the league and um, they're going to they're going to be a, a huge force and probably the favourites to win the title in England for, for years and years to come. Uh, it's, a, it's an astonishing team that Pep Guardiola has put together. But it comes down to this, it comes down to this two-legged tie. Um, we've beaten each other this season at home and uh, you know, our respective homes. Uh, but City are the favourites at Anfield, which I think does surprise me a little bit. Um, I understand why they're the favourites to win the tie. And comfortable favourites they are, Man City they are. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure the 5-0 at the Etihad kind of comes into mind there as well. And just the fact that they... They, they, they don't lose football matches as simple as that. We, we're only one of um, a, a few teams to beat them this season. I think um, Wigan, obviously, and was it was a Shakhtar on a group of stages, so only a few teams have managed to actually see them off. Nobody at the Etihad. Um, but uh, although it's the special kind of Anfield nights at home that have seen us through in these ties before against Chelsea and against Arsenal, I just quite like the fact we're away second. Um, because the the fear of conceding, if, if we concede tomorrow night um, and, and we, we, we draw one all or something, we're just going to be completely fearless at the Etihad and we're going to know that as long as we can score, um, let's just pile everything towards scoring and forget the rest. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be a gun ho attitude, whereas if we, had to, if we had to come to Anfield after the tough leg, after the City, uh, after, after being at the Etihad first and City beating a sort of 2-1 or 3-1, there'd be nothing but fear going through my mind at, at the thought of them scoring a goal that kills a tie off. But if we, even if we're trailing 2-1 after the home leg, or if, or, or if it's level, which you know is, is certainly a, a distinct possibility, I'll be fearless going to the Etihad. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just know that if we score, we'll, everything will sort itself out and um, you know, we can catch them on the counter or, or whatever. So... Um, I, I, and obviously they're, they're going to have won the league probably the, the, the uh, few days before that so I don't know what their mindset's going to be like it's just I think it's slightly tighter than the bookies suggest in terms of qualification uh, I think City are 4-9 to nine and we're 13-8 to eight, so I'd have it slightly tighter than that um, at Anfield we're 9-5 to five, which does surprise me um, City 11-8 to eight, so but look it's, it's so so hard to call exactly what it's going to be like we've got injuries to um, you know, uh, Matip, Emre Chan, obviously Joe Gomez, Lalana. Not that he would have necessarily featured, but we've got a few injuries. City too, obviously Aguero, but they've got an, an astonishing front line without him. <sighs> what can you really say? It's 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 time to get down to business. Klopp and Guardiola have had their press conferences today. 
um, both kept their cards to their chest really I mean I, I didn't see the City game uh, at Everton on Saturday because I was um, on the way to Cardiff for the boxing but it looks like they, they played three at the back and uh, obviously they, they, they were still ruthless but interestingly they played three at the back will they do that again against Liverpool uh, is, is that how they try and stifle us at Anfield or will they maybe play De Bruyne in a front three will they maybe leave Sterling out uh, maybe sit Gundogan uh, in midfield with Fernandinho and David Silva, it's it's hard. It's it's hard to predict. City have been quite consistent this season in that the front, well, the midfield three stay the same: Fernandinho, Silva, and Gundogan. The front three it's rotated with injuries, but it's been Sane, one of Aguero and Jesus, and one of Bernardo and Sterling. Usually Sterling in the back four, Walker every week, and then whoever's fit. If Company's fit, it'd be him. If Otamendi's fit, it's him. And then if 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 Mendy, Delph, or Danilo, usually Delph if he's fit, but. Uh, City, they, they've been they've been four three three all season. It's been quite easy to predict, although impossible to stop. Uh, but they might change it up. You just never, never know. Guardiola, we were seeing him do crazy things in the Champions League. I remember seeing him um, when Bayern played Barcelona a few years ago. Went man for man, just completely mental tactics. They got picked off three 0 in the end, but it was a crazy, crazy game. They tried to just man mark every single Barcelona player and press so tight. It was it was. It was bold, but it turned out to be suicidal. And, and Guardiola's run, Guardiola's, um, you know, it, has Klopp got his number? Uh, it, it's it's a pick em. it's a pick em. it really is. So, starting 11 for Liverpool. Uh, Loris Karras in goal. Um, as soon as you get to right back, that's already a huge, huge decision. Trent Alexander-Arnold has had an up and down season. I, I do like the kid, of course. Um, he'll be, and he'll be so, so up for it as, as a scouse lad. He'll have been... He'll have remembered all those games that he watched as a kid uh, when we were caught, when we were beating Chelsea in the semi-finals and what have you. Um, so for him, it would be huge. I'm worried it might be too big, but with Joe Gomez injured, what else can we really do? And Nathaniel Klein hasn't played a minute all season. He is the, the, the better right-back, obviously. But can you just chuck him in against Leroy Sané? But it's equally it's a risk to throw uh, Alexander Arnold in again after Rashford did what he did to him at Old Trafford, and after Zaha did what he did to him uh, on a couple of occasions at Selhurst Park. It's tough, but it could be a coming wage for him. So I, I think Trent will start. Uh, Lovren and Van Dijk will start centre back because they have to. Um, Robertson at left back in the midfield uh, with Chan missing. Obviously Henderson will sit in the number six role. Will we go for it and play Oxley Chamberlain? Uh, I really, really don't know. I, I think Milner has to play on, on the right-hand side of that midfield three um, to give Trent some help. And then I think I think we will just go Vinaldum. I, I think it'll be I think it'll be that kind of rigid midfield three of Henderson, Milner, and Vinaldum maybe bringing Oxford Chamberlain off the bench um, and the front three of Mane, Salah, Firmino. But it's such. It's such a big first sort of 20 minutes, I, I wouldn't want to guess how it's going to play out. I imagine we'll start fast, I imagine the crowd would be, you know, rocking. Um, and we just have to maintain all, all the focus, because any mistake, any slip, like the, the, the slip that we had uh, in the league game when Sanya scores up in the post, Karras should probably do better, um, Gomez should do better, anything like that, and it could be tie over. So we've just got to keep focus, we've got to stay at 110% throughout the game. Obviously, that's what Klopp were drilling into them. It is the biggest game. I mean, the Europa League final, you could argue, but this, for me, with the chance to get into the Champions League semi-finals, to see off uh, the team that are at one point the favourites to win this competition, is bigger than that. Uh, it, it, it's it's our, it's uh, it's what we do. It's what we do. We, we get to Champions League semi-finals, we get to the Champions League finals, and as we've done five times, we win Champions Leagues. So this... It's bigger for us than it is for City, I think, and I, I think we want it more than them. Um, we crave it more than them. We've been starved of trophies. We haven't won anything for ages. We won that League Cup in 2012, but other than that, it's an FA Cup in 2006. But really, it's Istanbul since we've really, really got to enjoy ourselves. And you know, I was only 12 years old then. And this is uh, this is the first time I'll be able to really kind of you know dr have a drink and kind of. Um, enjoy the moments. Obviously, been been travelling to the games and you know being in Porto for that special five nil. Um, hoping for another special night here. Um, that's all I can really say. Prediction wise, I am going to sit on the fence. I am going to sit on the fence. I'm going to say we're going to draw this game one all, which for me would leave it 
poised perfectly for the second leg, I think we'd still go there with a massive, massive chance, even if they'd be huge favourites. I think I think I'd, I'd really be back up to score at the Etihad next week. Um, and I've just got a funny feeling about this tie. I really have got a funny feeling about this tie. I think I think it could be, you know, I think it could be special. And I'm not going to jinx it any further than that. But leave a comment with your predictions. I'm nervous, as you can probably tell. I'm, I've got a slightly different demeanour about me than I normally do. But I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, anxious, excited. Just cannot wait for 24 hours from now, being in the ground, being in the cop, cheering the boys home and hopefully reaching Munich, Madrid or Barcelona or wherever we could possibly end up next. But it's City, it's the hardest draw we could have had. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat and Facebook. I'll be kind of you know, active on those throughout the day tomorrow. And subscribe if you're new to this channel. I'll be doing a vlog, of course. And I'll see you next time.